Ready to install Home Assistant on your x86 system but not sure where to start? In this video we'll show you how to install Home Assistant OS on an Intel Mac, step by step. Let's get started. There are two methods to write the Home Assistant image to the boot medium. The first one is to create a live operating system on a USB stick, running Ubuntu and flashing the image from there. The second is to write the Home Assistant image directly from your desktop using a USB adapter. Personally, I prefer the first option for its accessibility, and that's what we'll be using in this tutorial. If you want to check out the second method, make sure to check my video about that. Before we jump into the installation process, let's go over the two things you'll need to get started. A PC and a USB stick. First off, your PC needs to be 64-bit capable and be able to boot using UEFI. The good news is that pretty much all systems produced in the last 10 years support UEFI boot mode, so you should be good to go. To give you an example, I was able to install Home Assistant OS on this old Lenovo laptop from 2013, and it worked like a charm. So you're practically able to install Home Assistant on any PC that was manufactured in the last 10 years. Download Berlin Etcher for your operating system. Install Berlin Etcher. Download Ubuntu 22.04. It weighs 5 GB so it might take some time. Open Berlin Etcher. Click Flash from File and select the Ubuntu image. Click Select Target and choose your USB drive. Finally, click Flash. It's safe to close any windows that might pop up while flashing the image. After flashing the image, restart your PC. The BIOS screen will vary depending on your system, so use Google to get the correct settings for your system. The two settings you need to change are Enable UEFI mode and Disable Secure Boot. Press F2 to go to the Setup menu. Make sure UEFI boot is enabled. Go to the Secure Boot tab and disable Secure Boot. The next step is optional but recommended. Go to the Power tab and set After Power Failure to Power On. Press F10 to save and exit. Press F10 to enter the boot menu. Select your USB drive. Select Try or Install Ubuntu. Select Try Ubuntu. For the next steps, you will need a stable internet connection. You can connect to Wi-Fi for this stage. Open Firefox and enter the blog post using the link from the description. Copy the following commands, which are all from the documentation of Home Assistant and Berlina Etcher. Press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. Paste the command using right click and paste or Ctrl Shift V. Copy the Home Assistant image link. Go to Show Applications and search for Etcher. Open Belina Etcher. Select Flash from URL and paste the link you copied. Click Select Target, then Show Hidden. Now select your drive. Click Select, then Flash. And finally press Yes, I'm sure. Now that the flash completed successfully, restart your system. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Connect your PC to wired internet. If you have only one drive, it should start booting automatically. If you have other drives, press F10 to choose your drive. To access Home Assistant, follow homeassistant.local, colon 8123 
or your PC's IP address followed by colon 8123. Once you reach the login screen, enter your name, username and password. You can click detect to fill in all the details automatically or enter them manually. You can share anonymous statistics to the Home Assistant team. Personally, I enable it. Finally, click Finish to proceed. Home Assistant is up and running. It already populated some devices automatically. You can start adding your devices and automations. Now that your Home Assistant is up and running, I highly recommend installing the Home Assistant Community Store as one of the first things to do allowing you to easily add custom components, integrations and plugins. Thanks for watching.